So what I wanted to talk about was a lot of stuff that I see on TikTok or, or social media is this whole thing on like optimal training. And I feel like, I feel like it was good at first, but it's almost creating like a toxic community to where like you can't even post something that is, that is, if people, somebody says that like an exercise is not optimal, right? But I've been doing it my whole entire life and it's worked for me. And then I post about that and then, and then people are, all these kids are going to go say like, yo, Alex, that's not optimal. Why are you doing that? What people need to understand, like the best program is one that you enjoy doing and that you can stick to, right? Let's say for example, like personally, I don't think deadlifts are the most optimal exercise to grow like, like actual muscle tissue in the places that you want. I think it's a good strength exercise and it's a good, depending on what you're, I just think that what I believe in is I do a little bit of a voiceover as there's a few topics that I but one of the things I've been seeing on social media a lot in TikTok, anyway, by the way, real quick, I'm training. I never, a lot of stuff that I see on TikTok or, or social media, it, well, might as well try to do it. I usually don't train like this, but um, yeah. So what I wanted to talk about was a lot of stuff that I see on TikTok or, or social media is this whole thing on like optimal training. And I feel like, I feel like it was good at first, but it's almost creating like a toxic community to where like you can't even post something that is that is if people, somebody says that like an exercise is not optimal right but i've been doing it my whole entire life and it's worked for me and then i post about that and then, and then people all these kids are gonna go say like yo alex that's not optimal why are you doing that what people need to understand like the best program is one that you enjoy doing and that you can stick to right let's say for example like personally i don't think deadlifts are the most optimal exercise to grow like like actual muscle tissue in the places that you want i think it's a good strength exercise and it's a good depending on what you're if you're an athlete it's definitely great exercise but if you enjoy doing deadlifts and that's something that you love doing whether it's like your leg or your back day then you should 100 percent incorporate it into your program for me i don't think it's it's helped me much so i don't do it in my program again like everybody is different but i feel like this whole like thing that's being portrayed on social media is that, like you have to train optimal or like you're not going to grow you're going to grow regardless if you stick just to the basics and like do bench squat deadlift or or like training your garage with with dumbbells and like just do like basic free weight movements even if it's not the most optimal stuff you're not using cables or anything you're still going to grow you can still build a really good physique that way and i feel like that's what people are like misinterpreting or not understanding um because so many times i'll see like again and i follow a lot of these creators i think they spread amazing information i think they're very smart smarter than me um, and they'll post these things uh, discrediting somebody else's workout or exercise saying this isn't optimal You should do it this way But the thing is a lot of the kids who are watching this are like younger teenagers So they're age 14 to 18 whatever So I feel like almost it overcomplicates it and then like you'll see these kids in the gym like trying these different optimal movements instead of like Actually enjoying their workouts or having like a tough hard like enjoyable workout 